look who's back in town. And already getting chummy with Jeremy Clay. <laughs> it's good to see you too, Alec. Hey, Sandra. Dad know you're back? Thought I'd surprise him. Since when did Kalani run a babysitting service? Uh, that's Harrison. He's mine. I haven't been gone that long. Tess must be real impressed with you. Hey, you're not nervous about going on a date with your husband, are you? No, it's not a date, it's just a picnic. Actually, it's um more than a bit nervous. I always get butterflies before a big date, and I break out too. No, they're not zits. Shosh your back. Oh, no, Charlotte just had chicken pox, right? Great, I've got the bread and the wine. What? Oh, no. Oh, you poor thing. Was it infectious? true love, huh? Oh, yeah, that's if you believe in it. You don't? Yeah, I'm not sure anymore. I mean, look at us. Three men in a poo machine. We're hardly advertisements for its success. How's Sally going? You call her? Still in hospital. She sounds stronger. Oh, what have you been feeding this lad? Not again. I only just changed him. Come on, Alex, your turn. Uh, get away, mate. I'm too busy picking up his slack. Well, you do both. See how far you get, Alex. I've got a healthy digestive tract. I'll give him that. Woo! Yeah, sorry, mate. I've got work to do, too. There you go. In there. Get in there, little fella. Yeah, we certainly know who he takes after. Yeah, right. Like yours doesn't stink. <laughs> okay, old one off. All right. New nappy. On. Okay, little buddy. That's the last one for today, okay? Hello. How are things? Oh, you know, full. You okay? Yeah. Apparently I'll be able to see you again once my scabs start dropping off. Hmm. Don't know if you want to see me though. See, you're forgetting our vows, for better or for worse, scabs or no scabs. <laughs> hey, listen, tell me something. How many times a day are you meant to change a nappy? Ah, uh, well, it's not an exact science. If filling them was an Olympic event, then I'd have a gold medal winner right here. <laughs> Did you hear Sanders back? Really? For good or what? Dunno. Maybe it really is true love for her and Dad. Maybe. You don't think there is such a thing? Mm, for Sandra, it's hard to say. I meant you. Oh. Ah, I've got to go. The beast needs food. OK, well, take care. You too. Bye. Bye. It's chicken. Yeah. All right, chicken. Probably not what you feel like right now. <laughs> Hi, Harry. Tess, Stevie. Just uh, brought over that post hole digger for you. Did we ask to borrow it? Ah, uh, no, we've got one of our own. Oh, uh, that must have got his wires crossed. You're not looking too well, Tess. No, chicken pox. You know you shouldn't. Scratch, I know. I'm 
Trying not to. Yeah, I remember the boys got it together. It was uh, just before Christmas. Told them Santa wouldn't come if they scratched. Any uh, chance of a cup of tea? Yeah, you sure. I guess you heard that Sandra's back. Yeah, that's great. Isn't it? Well, the thing is, I don't really know why. Well, you mean she didn't say she'd missed you or anything? No, she just got stuck into me for not coming after her. I mean, how could I when she just took off without a trace? Well, did you say that you'd missed her? Well, not when she obviously doesn't feel the same way. Are you absolutely sure about that? Well, she didn't say so, did she? But then neither did you. What, you think this is just another one of her games? Well, Sandra's complicated, that's for sure. But in the end, I think it's very simple. A woman wants to feel special. But most of all, she just wants to know that she's loved. Tried that, didn't work. Harry, it's not a one-off event. Keep this conversation to ourselves, huh? Yeah, of course. In the family? Yeah. If you're after Alex, he's not here. Actually, it's you I came to see. Quite the father, Nick. I always thought you'd provide good genes. No, we're not going to go down that road again, I hope. <laughs> it's not Harry's baby I want. OK, so what do you want? Isn't it obvious? Not from what I've heard, no. See, that's the problem. Harry can't see it either. See what, Sandra? <laughs> Liz. She still wears a wedding ring. I saw it the day you and Tess got married. So? Does she still love Harry? And does he still love her? So that's what all this is about then. Look, Sandra, why don't you ask him that? I shouldn't have to, Nick. Well, so you'd rather just keep playing guessing games and get him back. That makes a lot of sense. Well, neither does having a child to one woman while you're married to another. I'm going to be at Kinsella's in the morning, if Harry still wants to talk to me. Thanks for dropping by. Hello. You got any tips on getting babies to sleep? Ah, oh, now that's anyone's guess. You know, I doubt I'm going to be able to get anything done ever again. You will. You in bed? Yeah, I just had a bath. Meg gave me this stuff to soak in. I smell like a burnt forest, but at least it'll stop the itching. Well, if I was there, I could scratch your back for you. Even when I'm scabby and smelly. <laughs> Must be true love then. Ah, so you do believe in it then? Of course. Life just gets in the way sometimes. Try telling a story. Once upon a time. No, not to me, silly. It always helps Charlotte. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. No. Good night. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. And she had an evil spell put upon her. She's covered in spots. Covered in spots. Yeah. Nick. Patty. Drivers run. Hi. So, story didn't work tonight, huh? No, Harrison's out like a light. The bottles are sterilised, washing's on. Oh, is he managing to get everything done? Yeah, it takes a bit longer, but he's handy to have around. Handy? Yeah, well, his nappy needs changing every hour. Don't have to look at my watch anymore. How you feeling? Yeah, a bit better. Don't look at though. My beautiful, scabby wife. <laughs> I take it you heard about tomorrow. Reckon you'll be back on deck? 
Harry's gonna need all the support he can get. Oh, there's nothing like a woman scorned. Yeah, I don't get it. Sandra came to see me and talked about wanting him back. Well, that's funny. Harry said the same thing to me about her. It's crazy, isn't it? Two people who love each other so much. You'd think they'd be able to work things out. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Can't wait. I've given my time I went to the doctor this, this morning. No he said I was lucky so to have far. such a mild case. No, being new to the Still area, terrible, might not right? realize how oh, what spots? I don't see any spots. To say to a man, <laughs> say it to his face. Nick and I both know this isn't the way he wanted things to turn out. Look, I appreciate you trying, Tess, but... You made it quite clear how you felt about Sandra when you came to see me, Harry. Sandra did exactly the same with me. But you're both just too proud and too stubborn to talk to each other. Come on, this isn't really about who's fit to be a chairman, is it? Quade's been here five minutes. He thinks he owns the place. You thought he was flirting with your wife. Well, he was. And why does that upset you so much, Harry? It's obvious, isn't it? No, Harry, it's not. Is it because you still love Sandra? Yes. Yeah, it's quite a game you played today. Well, they're in love. They needed someone to point it out. Yep, so now we're stuck with the Wicked Witch all over again. We wouldn't want Jeremy Quaid as a neighbour, would we? Well, you have to hand it to Sandra. She knows how to buy a black ball. He's cheap. And she gets Jodie to transport them for her. Harry's offered to restock and sell us with the Herefords. And he showed the world that he loves her. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say she planned it all from the start. Oh, nah, come on, you're Nick. you're kidding me, Nick. Have a look at it. Nick. Oh. square. Yeah, absolutely.